It's a 10 out of 10, that's fucking right. And the boys are back as well. So I gave season one a 9 out of 10, but season two deserves a perfect score and a season three which has not been announced yet for some reason. But Ed Kemper, Son of Sam, Charles Manson. There's actually an image from the, the Manson interview that, just a one image, and that image is literally my favorite image from the series so far, both season one and two. The cast, the acting, the cinematography, it's all impeccable and compulsively compelling. I would literally race home to catch episodes because they were that addictive. It's Fincher's Zodiac in series form. And this time, I don't just really like the characters. I love the main characters. I love Holden and Bill's chemistry. There was, there was this really cute moment where, where, uh, where, where Holden was talking about, um, you know, like, someone being a narcissist, you know, and he was rambling on about that person. And, and Bill sort of looks at him and sort of smiles with a little grin, uh, unbeknownst to, to, to Holden, you know? <sighs> I love their chemistry and their haunting struggles. Like Holden's anxiety attacks, or particularly uh, Bill's, Bill's struggles. Bill's <laughs> home life situation is scarier than dozens of 2019, 2018 horror films that I've seen, literally. I love Wendy Carr this time. She's just so interesting, the way that she presents herself. Her off-work life is so gripping to me. Also, Anna Torv is so fucking smoking, man. And, and, and Jonathan Groff is, is <laughs> it's like, honestly, like the cutest thing ever in real life. Have you guys noticed? Dialogue is comparable to a maze, a whole labyrinth to get lost in, especially emotionally speaking. Point blank, this is the spookiest sh fictional show that I've seen this year. And, like, maybe ever? And season two's final minutes, like the last three minutes or so, may become a clockwork orange level legendary for TV one day, or for streaming. It is such a left field ambitious cliffhanger. If you came for emotional, intellectual exercise, you've arrived. I, I can't wait to get deeper and to discuss spoilers, because honestly, to watch this show, <sighs> prepare for consistent chills. It's a 10 out of 10. Fucking loved it, okay? And I swear to God, if they if they don't renew this for season three, I swear to fucking... We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and try again.